Okay, water's flowing into and being removed from a tank. The volume of water in the tank is measured on a daily basis, starting at day zero. The volume of water in litres in the tank can be modelled by that formula. Find the value of the Find the value of T when the tank empties, when the volume is zero, I suppose. So that is, when will 3T squared minus 41T minus 60 equals zero? I just multiplied everything by minus one, just to make it nicer. We don't have to do that. Okay, let's use the quadratic formula, because I'm feeling too tired to factorize it. So you get t is 15. Uh, if you wanted to know, I was using the quadratic formula, but if we factorize it, it was t plus 15, I mean t minus 15, and um, 3t plus 4 equals zero, so t equals 15. Find the rate at which the volume of the tank is dis is, is changing when t is five. Okay, so they just want dv dt, which is 41 minus 6t when the t is five. So that's 41 minus 30, isn't it? So that's 11. Eleven centimeters cubed per second. Okay. Find value of t when the volume of the uh, of the water in the tank is a maximum. Okay. Well, that's just that's just when the derivative is zero. So that's when t is forty one over six. Okay. Find the maximum volume of water in the tank corrected in airs later. Okay, if I just put this answer into the volume formula. Um fine. Uh, is this in litres already? Yeah, it is. So that's just the volume when um, the T is the previous answer of 41 over 6, which will be 200 litres. Trees of the same age, size, and type are grown at the same rate before. It's possible to measure the radius of the trunk of the tree at the end of each growing season. The increase in the radius of the trunks of the trees each year during a particular 10-year period can be modeled by that formula where t is between 1 and 10 and t is a natural number. Okay, fine, fine, fine. In order to model... In order for the model to be reasonable, it must satisfy a number of conditions. One condition is written below. The range of the tree is increasing year on year. Show that R satisfies this requirement. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I have two ideas.
the radius at year t will equal the radius in the previous year plus the increase in the previous year. So this will be bigger than this. We want this, we want to prove that this is bigger than this. Isn't it? Hmm, okay, this is interesting actually. I really want to think about this because there's not a lot of space here. Ah, okay. I think rather than focusing on the R in total, I just should focus on the increase. So R T increases is the same thing as saying that I T is only ever positive and never zero or negative. 1.5 plus sine pi t over 5 must be more than or equal to 1.5 minus 1, which equals 0 0.5. So therefore, not only is the i t more than 0, we actually can see that it must be at least uh, 0 0.5 so that means that the or is always increasing it's always increasing by at least 0.5 a year okay show that i6 is less than i5 and explain what this means in the context Ugh, okay i6 equals i5 equals That's 0 0.9122, and that's 1.5. Um, what does this mean? Well, it means that the increase in year 6 was less than uh, year 5, so I suppose you could say that Year five was a better year of growth. Then my bleeding pen, year six. Mm. So it's, uh, yeah, uh, what did they want me to say? That's all I can say. Okay. I think this is near the end. Yeah. Okay. Two identical trees begin growing in the forest. At the beginning of year one, a tree was put down on a section of the trunk in the shape of a cylinder, radius 10, standard height H, volume B, was sent to a solvent, given that the radius was tan. The formula is that can be used to find the radius of the second tree for subsequent values of t. Find or two the radius of, of the second tree at t two. Give your answer in that form. Okay, okay, okay. At the beginning of year one, a tree was cut down. So they're saying or zero is 10. It's confusing when they use zeros and ones. So they start counting here at year one, whereas the other question, they start counting, I think at like day zero or something, wasn't it? Let me just make sure I'm not mixing up by one here. 
is off by one error. You see, okay, all right. So when t is one, that means the end of year one. And the reason i is only defined at one is because a year had to have gone by to have an increase. So we can't have i zero, we can only have i one. Okay, so R2 would be R1 plus I2. And R1 would be R0 plus I1. And then we still have the I2. So the I formula, where was it a moment ago? Is 1.5 plus sine a fifth pi t. So that's a 1.5 is in that and a 1.5 is in that. Uh, so that's a tray and the R zero we said is 10. So that's 13. And then it's sine um, pi over five plus sine 2 pi over 5, I think. At T10, the second trunk was also put down, a section of this trunk in the shape of a cylinder of radius that standard height volume value something. If V2 is KV1, where K is a real number, find the value of K. I oh, don't like this question. Okay, so volume two would be pi and the radius squared h. Volume one would be pi. Now volume one was um start off at radius ten. So that's actually 10. We know it begins at 10. So K is V2 over V1. The pi's cancel, the h's cancel. So it's the radius at year 10 squared over 100. So all we have to do is get the radius at year 10. Well, that's going to be a bit tricky because to get the radius at year 10, that's or 10. We, all, we only have or 2. So, okay, fine. So that would be all over 100. Um, and actually it's just the top that's squared. So you can see the pattern here, radius at year two would be R0 plus I1 plus I2. So you can see it's going to be R0, which is 10, plus I1, I2, I3, all the way up. Now, there's 10 of these, and these all have 1.5 in the formula. So that's 15 plus 10 is 25. And um, they each have the sign in them. 
be sine 1 over 5 pi plus sine 2 over 5 pi all the way up to sine 10 pi over 5. Woo! I don't know if I'm doing this right. This seems outrageous. Uh, okay. Let's add those signs up. So sine a fifth pi plus sine two fifths pi plus sine three fifths pi plus sine four fifths pi all the way up to sine ten fifths pi is zero. Haha. <laughs> so twenty five squared is six two five divided by a hundred. So that would be six point Two five. That's funny. That's very funny. Ha ha ha.